Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at a cheap disco ball we got from Vipon. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so yesterday or the day before, or hey, whenever it was, obviously if you haven't seen that video, it makes no difference to you whatsoever, but Recently I made a video about a website called Vipon where you get stuff on Amazon for anywhere between 50 to even 100% off. Yep, 100% off. They actually give stuff away free sometimes, which is absolutely mental. But anyway, I wanted a disco ball. I've got a special project lined up for it. So let's take a look inside. So first of all, there is a plastic bracket, rather flexible. So you can have this as wall mounted or desk mounted or mounted somewhere who knows now we get a remote control so it's a led remote control and you've got options on there for on off start stop music etc etc here is the main part of it itself the actual disco ball now i can almost inside of there see i think i can see a few multicolored leds there looks to be a blue one a red one and a green one so we're definitely on for some rgb action I'm not too sure what else it's going to look like. Now on the sides you've got other things, so you've got these kind of plastic thumb screw things, so you can mount the bracket on and you can swivel it around and do whatever you want with it. It comes with a UK 13 amp plug, which is going to be, hopefully, quite long. Because not everybody's got a power socket available where they want their light to be. So that is probably, I don't know, maybe about two, two meters six foot thereabouts so quite long now the actual disco ball itself has got quite a lot of ventilation here there and everywhere to let some of the heat out from the leds now it's got i imagine it's got three leds oh yeah there's three times one watt rgb led so it's only three watts so you can leave this on pretty much all the time and it's not going to drain massive amounts of power so we've had a look at it best thing to do is just to plug it in and see what it's actually like and there you go. So you plug it in and straight away it comes on. And actually I think it's going to the sound of my voice. So it is sound reactive. So let's kill the lights in the studio so you can see this a little bit better. So there we go. There is a disco ball. How does that look? Does that look pretty cool? Okay, so there you go. We've adjusted the uh, the white balance and hopefully that looks much better and doesn't have that kind of yellowy tinge that you normally get with cameras. Anyway, let's look at this light bulb. So. At the moment you can see there are three LEDs. You've got a green, a red, and a blue, which you can hopefully see <laughs> reflected around the room. And actually it is pretty impressive. Now we've still got one of the uh, lights on in the room, which is the, uh, the main living room light. So we'll just turn that off. So now the only light in the room other than this RGB disco ball is there's a monitor on and over there and there but they're not giving out that massive amount of brightness. So, how does it look? What do you think? Is it is this going to be suitable for a party? What do you reckon? So, this actually obviously moves to the sound of music as well, or you can choose to if you want to. So let's play some music and see what it turns out like. Too bad. Okay, that's enough of that, you've got the general idea. So on this now we can do, there's various programs actually. Let's see what they do, so A1, just sets it to blue, green, red on its own. Now that is green and blue. Then there is your, there's your Christmas right there. There's the red and green, that is, that's all you need. One of these, less than five pounds, Red and green, Christmassy as hell, can't go wrong. And it's only three watts. 
so it's not going to burn your electricity. How cool is that for Christmas? So the last one is going to be your red and blue. So if you're into, I don't know, actually, probably red and blue would be actually pretty awesome for people who are into kind of like sci-fi stuff, maybe. Whatever. Anyway, well, so we've got one more. Uh, so that randomly rotates around the three colors and you can do things like you can speed it up. So if I slow that right down or you can speed it right up. There are speed options. It doesn't seem to do a great deal, to be honest with you, the speed wise. And um, see, so there's all sorts of programs. So that is doing sound to light. So when there's no noise, it goes off completely. And it's completely stopped. And actually the motor inside seems to have stopped as well. Nothing happening at all until you start stalking. So that's pretty cool. I, I didn't expect that. And there's like a kind of strobe effect which you could use. That doesn't seem to be sound to voice, I don't think. No, that's just doing its own thing. And there you go, there, there's your rave. So a bit of strobing, do apologize if there's anyone out there with epilepsy or anything like that. Do apologize, I should have put a warning up. Anyway, moving on. So let's turn that off a minute. Oh no, that just pauses it. And there's the on off. And it seems to memorize whichever your last setting was. So let's go for a, which one did I like? Yeah, that's the one right there. That's it. Program number one. That's my favourite. Sound to light. And it stops when there's no music. Awesome. Right, let's turn it off and go back to normal daylight. Okay, so this has been the less than £5 disco ball from Vipon in conjunction with Amazon. If you want details on this, then click on the uh, description below and you can find out where I got it from, how I got the discount, etc, etc. Well, I think it's pretty cool. Considering it's only three LEDs in there of one watt each, so three watts of power, it's not gonna cost you a fortune to run it. It looks pretty cool, whether you're gonna use it in a party environment, you can use it just in your bedroom or something to make your bedroom look pretty cool. For me personally, I'm gonna set up a crazy little project where I'm gonna use IFTTT to uh, use this to signal me so that when I do a live stream, I can know I've had a super chat because this thing's gonna start going off. But if you wanna see how that goes and how we actually configure a bulb to, uh, to be triggered by a super chat on YouTube, then click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon, and then you'll be notified of all future video releases. So, I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. That has been the totally cool less than five pound VPON disco ball, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.